Hi guys, Ryan the Squirrel, I am back with another video and today basically I'm following up on what I did last week. Last week I did uh, reacting to some of my old Facebook photos, so this week I thought let's react to some of my old Facebook posts. So yeah, the first one that I've got, start off nice and easy, back in 2009, what's everyone up to? Spelt with numbers, because yeah, I think everyone used to speak like that. Nowadays you look back on it, you think it was well stupid, but back then you just thought nothing of it, it was just something, to, something you did. Look at the amount of comments on it as well, Mr. Popularity over here. As you can see from this next one, I always, I always spoke weird, like I've never, I've never had like normal speak on Facebook. This one is simply brap. Brap, what the fuck? Got one reply on it and then my reply to is, to that is, Haha, <laughs> yes man, go on then. We're already off to the cringiness. Oh. Literally, I put out a post saying brap. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, sometimes you look back on the way you used to be and it's, it, it's just not right. It's just definitely not right. I was not right in the head. Now this one was a post from my mate. <laughs> I, I, I was arguing with another one of my mates at the time. Yeah, he posted up his name and then just look just look at my username here. Brian G for Life Cook. G for Life and I've not even spelt life properly. L Y F. Oh, I don't like my mind. But yeah, it says allow the hype. My response to it, haha, the jangulation process. Yeah, we used to come up with some mad words. This is back in my college days. But the jangulation process, this was one that went on for so long. Um, I can't really remember what the jangulation process is. The amount of words we came up with back then. They always had to have elation at the end. No clue why, but they always had to have elation. Another big thing that I used to do, but I think a lot of people used to do it back in the days, was just posting up lyrics on Facebook. No idea why, you can post links on Facebook to, other so to the song you're actually listening to, but no, post up the lyrics. I think people do still do it today, but like, on photos, which kind of makes a bit more sense if you're trying to tie it into the photo. I think the last time I did it was actually a couple of weeks ago, so I've not really broke the habit of that. <laughs> oh, still a bit weird. Back at it again with not spelling words properly. Bored. Like for rate. I remember people, like literally everyone used to do this, like for a rate. If you still do it, just stop. Please, just stop. It's over and done with, it's dead and gone. The spelling. It's literally, like is a four letter word. I've shortened a four letter word and it doesn't even look like it makes sense. I thought the photos were bad. Going through the photos was one thing. Going through the way I used to talk, Jesus Christ, this is definitely cringier than the last one. Well, this is one that I post, I think every year I post this. Yeah. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's hope 2012 is better. It wasn't. No year's ever better. They're, they're all crap. <laughs> every time I post that, I think, who knows, maybe this next year will actually be better. Nope. <laughs> Never is better. It's one extra letter to put in, one extra letter. Instead of better, I put better. Fucking moron. No, this one, at least this one's got a good backstory to it. Got an awesome Christmas present, a block of red Leicester. The thing with this is my mum asked me before Christmas like what I actually wanted. I never know what to say. Any whenever anyone asks me, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for your Christmas? Anything like that. I, I never know what to say, I just go, get me whatever you want. <laughs> but I turned around and I said, yeah, get me a block of cheese, get me a block of Red Leicester. So my mum, the lovely woman that she is, actually went out, bought a block of Red Leicester and wrapped it up for Christmas. <laughs> I actually had to unwrap it on Christmas Day. Pretty brilliant. You know what, I love cheese, so it was one of the best presents I actually got. And a bit of a nice one there, less cringy. Right, well nowadays I hate these people, but yes, I used to be one of them. I hate when I'm right. The cryptic message that you never answer, if anyone ever messages you about it, like, oh, what's up, you go, 
or it don't matter. The other person's just sat there like, well, why fucking post it if you're not going to say anything about it? I used to be that person and I fucking despise it when I see it now because I'm that guy that'll go, oh, is everything all right? And then I'll get, don't matter, I'm okay. It's like, fucking hell, at least let me know what was going on then. And, and another one that's got a bit of a backstory to it. What the fuck? Some random bitch just shared my photo. Fucking weird people. Yeah, basically, I'd went on and I got a notification that one of my photos had been shared. So I clicked on to the person who'd shared it, and it turns out they'd shared it and tagged their friend in it and went, this is your new boyfriend, ooh. And it's like... Well, one, I'm not her new boyfriend. I don't even know who the fuck she is. And two, who the fuck are you to go ooh at me? I know personally, by looking at myself, I'm not the most attractive person, but I don't need some weirdo's fucking validation on it. I guess shit like that happens on Facebook all the time. Kind of riled me up because I was like, what gives them the right to fucking, you know, pull this shit on me when I don't even know who the fuck they are? Right, so here's a decent one. Uh, new me, new year, new me. That's right, I'm gonna buy some new pants. Uh, the thing with it was, I kept seeing everyone posting up, oh yeah, it's gonna be a new year, new me. And you get that, you still get it. It's like a constant thing that happens every year. So everyone just posting up, oh yeah, new year, new me. And it's like, it's not gonna be a new fucking you, is it? It definitely isn't. So I was just like, do you know what? I need to mock these people. And that was the best that I could come up with. At least I wasn't actually being sincere in the whole new year, new me. Because I think that would have been a lot worse. Like, a lot worse. Yeah, so the last one that I'm going to look at basically proves that I'm the guy that used to put everything on Facebook as well. Whenever I was having, like, a little angry moment, I'd have to put it on Facebook. I've got nothing to do in mine. Let me use your stuff. This goes on for a while. Then he has TV with a video player and borrows my DVD player. Let me go on your phone, there's nothing to do up at mine, I'm bored. Then starts whinging uh, when I say no. I might sell all my stuff, let's see him start then. But yeah, this was about my brother, uh, being annoying me <laughs> the whole night. Like, literally, I gave him everything that he could do. Like, I, I wasn't going to leave him with fuck all to do. But he just kept whinging at me and whinging at me. I've got nothing to do. Let me go on your laptop. Let me go on your phone. And I'm like, no, I'm using this stuff. And he's like, no, you're not. You can let me use it. I just got really pissed off, kicked him out of my flat and then um, had to put it on Facebook, didn't I? I was a little whingy crybaby that had to go and put everything on Facebook. Thank fuck I'm not that person anymore. I don't go on... I, I basically... I don't think I post much on Facebook. I'll post like when I'm doing something fun or I'll post when I've uploaded a new video, but that's about it really. It was more cringy than the photos, but there was less stuff to cringe at. Uh, I think most of them were just more straightforward stuff, but I have come a long way since back in these days. I, I speak in full sentences now. <laughs> you won't see me typing, oh yeah, WUU2MH. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and me going through all of my old stuff. Uh, if you did like it, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the video. Or maybe even put down below some of your old posts. It'd be funny to look at. Uh, subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date with my content. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.